so the tune-up challenge went horribly. So let's join the Volkswagen RD IDR Pikes Peak Finals because I can't really get another car right here because of we don't. So that's gonna be a bit of an issue. We're each at 151, man, that's stupid. That's just stupid, okay. And it's not, nice. I love, I hate challenges so much. And I already think we're screwed because of that Sylvia. It does, okay, yeah, I'm done, I quit. I'm out. There is nothing I can do, S14 lost. This is a trash challenge. Garbage. Zero out of zero out of ten. Dumbest challenge I've ever played. Not fun. At all. Stupid Evo needs service. That can't win there. Cause this can't do anything. It has no MRA. So like what are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do when all your new cars you added have no MRA and then you throw at us the two cars that do have good MRA? Nope, trash challenge, I'm out. Yeah, so yo, what's up guys, it's Yellowfin and I am going to be joining the Volkswagen IDR Finals. Um, this is my hand that I have for it. It is a 133 Super Impreza WRX STI version VGC8F. Um, there is a 233 Volkswagen, I mean not Volkswagen. Did I say Volkswagen for this one? I feel like I did, but it's a Super Impreza. Um, this is a Nissan Skyline GTR R33 233, 323 Evo 4, 323 Evo 1, and a 323 Nissan 300ZX Twin Turbo. Because I couldn't beat the tune-up, so Japan Pro Tour doesn't really have a good another car. But basically, for my goal with this hand is get a carbon fiber, basically. If I can somehow pull off the Mustang GT4, that'd be very nice. I just have to get one of the very weak brackets. I know there are a ton of weak brackets out there. But the thing is, I don't have a drag car, which is why I can't also beat the tune-up challenge then. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so first off, this doesn't look too bad. This should be pretty easy to beat. Um, so we'll probably put that there, because it actually has good MRA. And then that there, that there, that there, and that there. And that's probably what I'll do with this hand, because the 300ZX actually has decent MRA except it can't win a test bowl. So I guess it should be decent on the drags then. Like it does beat the RX-7 right there by a full second almost, or actually more than a second. Then this is good here. because so I just couldn't seem to pull any 90s cars in the um, offers. I opened all those offers and didn't get a single 90s car. The only good 90s one I got was the one I got from the ceramic pack, from the unrecorded ceramic pack, which is my Epic Subaru. I couldn't get any other 90s cars. So that's why I'm running the Super Rare then instead in my hand. Otherwise, I'd probably have a Max Dolce there. But there we go. So that's a three star in 124th. So it looks like we're in a pretty full bracket already. Yeah, 476 out of 500. The top, it's a lot of undefeated, so it might be a pretty fresh bracket that just filled up a bit. But let's see what the other hands are looking like. So this looks pretty simple right here. So far, it doesn't look though like one of the super easy brackets just from looking at what everyone's hands have been so far in these more bottom tiers so it'll be interesting to see um what more of the upper hands are because so i know there are some brackets with people that are just running like rares in their hands or uncommons and they're way up there or a bunch of like ultra rares and super rares in their hands and it's not really like crazy high stuff but if this is the bottom tier then I might have to push a bit to get a carbon. But we'll just have to see in these further races, so this should be a three star, yep, which it is. Okay, in the 80th now, which is carbon fiber tier, but we wanna really get up into that four GT4 tier. And I forgot that, cause I just recorded the tune up video that didn't work, so I scrapped it, that these cars actually need fuses. So YouTube videos are not going great right now and I don't really know what to do. So what, they've got two races on them, that's about a minute. So yeah, let's just do service, why not? We The show must go on, I think that's, yeah, that's the same. So this looks like a very simple hand. Very easy one to beat, and then they have that. So yeah, nice. Um, test bowl, you can go there, even though you're useless, you can't win a test bowl. 
G-Force there, Slalom there, and Twisty Circuit there. Except I don't really think that's a good spot for the Evo 1 on Twisty Circuit, but... Okay, so there we go, Evo 1 wins. You stupid car. You can only reach 153 with a top speed of 168 when you have good MRA. Okay, can the Subi win here? That would actually be interesting. It can't. Nice. My R33 though does good, because it's not JPT, so it doesn't suck. Evo 4 also does good. There we go, so we missed out on that 3-star. But oh well. What can you do? 57th now, we're moving up, and I gotta do a service into my R. That is okay though, because I like my R. I'm not mad at my R. So this should be pretty good. Yeah, they're running a standard tire Nissan Leopard. They're running a standard tires as well. Let's see what the up top is. Shouldn't be too bad. We should be able to beat it. Yeah, yeah, we should be able to beat it. I feel like we should. Hopefully we can. Hopefully we don't lose. And then that and that. So this should be good. Because we will lose this. Yep, that's expected. Then we will tie this. So that all just depends if 233, so hopefully 233 was the right choice because it should win here. Which is the reason I 233'd it because it's an also a good car for dry. Okay, it's a tie, that works too. So that's fine as well. Because then this is a win. Yep. And then this next race should also be a win. It definitely should. Okay, good. So there we go. 100 to 50 now. That's only a one star. We're in the top 40. Four. No, we're not in the top 40, but we're 4-0. And, and it is going to start to get a bit more difficult. Especially with that. Wow, that's a, got a chassis fuse in it as well. They're only at 6,000 trophies and they already threw a chassis fuse into it. But so far still, it doesn't really look too bad. It does not look too bad. Okay, you'll just get destroyed on the test bowl, but you get destroyed anyway. Um, Twisty Circuit, we'll put you there, because I don't trust my Subaru with its zero MRA. Um, so we'll throw you on karting. You can go on G-Force, and you can go on Slalom. Okay, so the R33 should do good there, which it does. Then our test bowl car that doesn't do good at test bowl. Loses by 142. And then my Subaru wins here. And then the Evo 4 wins here. And my Evo 1 will definitely win the next race because they're running a stock Subaru Legacy. So there we go. Not too bad. And we're now into 23rd. Okay, so... Maybe I can pull something off, but I don't really know. I'm not really confident in my Japanese cars right now. Except for my ones I actually know are good. But maybe I can pull something off. I hopefully can get a carbon fiber. I should be able to get a carbon fiber with this hand. If not, I will be even more disappointed in my Japanese cars. But we'll just have to see tomorrow. So, that's basically going to conclude it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that cool stuff. I'm Yellowfin. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.